Hello everyone, it's Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, and today I'm going to walk you through one of my favorite looks. It is this brown, sort of smoky, sort of daytime eye. I bust this one out all the time whenever I need to look responsible. Responsible, air quotes. Um, yeah, it's, you know what, there's quite a few steps, but once you get used to doing this, you can really knock it out fairly quickly. Um, it, you know, it's not like a five minute look or anything, but it, it if you want to look a little dressed up, um, this is a good look to have, I think, in your sort of bag of tricks. And when you are comfortable with it, you can always like do more to sort of modify it, like add like black cat liner or perhaps do like a darker lower lash line. Um, it's really easy. And I think a lot of people can wear this look because it utilizes a lot of different like mattes, which is, which are pretty forgiving, I think in person and in camera. I mean, it takes a little while to blend, but pish tosh, will be fine. Um, I'm using a couple of different products from like MAC and NARS, and I also threw in some of the new products from the new Magnetic Nude Collection. That's what I have on my cheeks and my lips. So let's jump right in. That was so cheesy. <sighs> Let me do that one more time. Let's jump right in. Cheesy. Uh, good old MAC Prep Plus Prime Natural Radiance. This is my jam, y'all. I use this all the time. Just apply it all over my face. As you can see, it's not very exciting. Oh, my secret shame. Gotta tie my hair back with my scrunchies. Foundation, MAC Face and Body. I'm gonna apply this all over my face with my Hourglass Number no. 2 brush. And then, after I'm done with that, NARS Pure Radiant Concealers around my cheeks and my mouth. I'm applying that with a skunk brush just for a little bit of extra coverage in the areas where I need it. Then I'm gonna blend it all down with a good old Kabuki brush. This one's by Tarte. It was limited edition. Okay, time to fill in the brows. That's Mac Room. I'm gonna use an angled brush. This one's by Laura Mercier. It was from one of her um, brush kits. And I have a full brow tutorial. I'll link that below just so you can check out the whole process. Now for the eyes, I'm gonna start by priming my lids with NARS Pro Prime. Just gonna apply that directly on and then blend that in with a finger. Now I'm gonna grab MAC Bamboo and then a 217 brush. I'm gonna start the eye look by popping this in my crease. You can see I use little circles, little swirls, and then a sweeping motion as I work my way into the crease. Then I'm going to take a tapered blending brush. That's the NARS, oh, sorry, MAC 224 just to buff out the edges and make things a little bit more seamless. Now I'm going to grab Dolce & Gabbana's number 10 chocolate liner. This is a really beautiful dark brown chocolate liner, but you can use anything you like. I know Dolce & Gabbana is kind of expensive. I'm just going to apply that really tight close to my lash line and then buff that out with a brush. I believe that this is one of the Sigma brushes. I'm going to have to look that up and link that down below. And all you want is just for it to sort of like be super dark at the lash line and kind of fade up as you move upward. And you just keep buffing and blending. Just keep working that across the lid. Now this is NARS Coconut Grove. This is a dark brown. I'm gonna apply that right on top of that buffed out liner with a MAC 239. I'm just gonna use small patting motions. I'm gonna switch that brush out for a smaller brush. This one's by Too Faced because I want to get super precise as I move in toward the inner corner. I'm going to switch that out again for that 239. Keep patting. And yes, I'm pulling out my lids. I'm really trying to break that habit. It's weird when you see yourself in video and all of the weird things that you do. Yeah, working on it, work in progress. So switch that out again for another brush. I'm just going to blend the two together. Blend, 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 blend. That's what we're going to do right here. And that's one of the tricks with the smoky eye. Now I'm going to grab MAC Mulch with a 239 brush and I'm just going to run that along the edge of Coconut Grove and then slowly, slowly, slowly right there. Then I'm going to buff those two together with the same 217 brush that I used earlier to apply MAC Bamboo into the crease. Blend, 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 blend. Blend and blend a little bit more. I'm going to apply another layer. And blend a little bit more. Seriously, you cannot layer and blend enough when it comes to these super blended smoky eyes. Working on it on the other eye, 
as you can see, doing more of the same. You just have to be really patient. After you get it to the level that you want, you grab your tapered blending brush and then you just buff that out. And if you want to darken it a little bit more, you can darken and then blend. Darken and then blend. I'm going to take a shimmery, dark, golden brown, Nars Galapagos, and I'm going to take a fine tip brush. This is a random one from a Clarins palette, and pat that in the outer V. I'm going to grab a MAC 217 and just blend that in. Moving slowly upward, but not going too, too high. I'm going to repeat the same process because we want to just darken that a little bit more. And I'm going to blend again right after that using small sweeping motions. It's really um, important to kind of go slowly with this part because you don't want to take it up too, too high. Next, I'm gonna grab MAC A Natural Flirt. That's limited edition, and I'm just gonna use it to highlight my um, underbrow area. But you could, you know, swap this out with anything. You could use like shroom or rice paper. Really, oh, Tabby just meowed. Any sort of highlighting color that you like, and I'm applying that with a small, teeny tiny Sonia Kashuk um, it's actually a concealer brush. I know it's kind of weird, but I like a precise uh, under eye highlight. Max Smolder. I'm going to use this to line my um, upper and lower water lines. And yes, look how awkward this is. It is not easy to be cute and do this, let me tell you. And I was like extra awkward when I was doing this because it was like the first tutorial I think that I recorded. And um, yeah, drag that across, across the upper lash line as well. Try not to have your mouth hanging open, Karen. Note to self. Grab a teeny tiny brush. This one's by Too Faced. Oh my god, my cat is meowing. I'm so sorry. He wants me to take him outside. Anyways, grab that small little brush and buff that out. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And FYI, I am, yes, I think I mentioned this earlier. Try not to tug at my eyes so much. Okay, time for brightening. MAC Prep Plus Prime in Bright Forecast. I'm going to take this and I'm going to apply that to my under eye area in the inner corner. Um, yeah, I think, I can't remember what happened, but I think I had some serious insomnia the night before I filmed this. Oh, and there I am freaking out. But what else is new? So, I'm going to use my fingers just to apply this and kind of like pat that in nicely. Um, and I like to use a patting rather than a sweeping motion when I do this because when you sweep back and forth, it just kind of like a moves things away. Oh, please ignore me fixing my bra. MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm going to grab this, going to pat that right on top of the bright forecast. And then grab my tart brush and buff the edges out. I'm going to put a little more because I think I could use a little bit more. And while I'm at it, I'm going to have my mouth hanging open. What? What? Okay. I'm going to blend that out just a tiny bit. And then set that all with MAC Light Sweep. This was a limited edition brush from MAC, but I know Sigma makes one that looks exactly the same. I'll link that down below. I can't remember the number of it off the top of my head. Now I'm going to grab a flat eyeshadow brush and pop a little bit of the mulch underneath my eye and then take a blending brush. Oh, that's a pencil brush, my bad. And blend that out. I'm going to do that again. When you do this, you know you want to just kind of go slowly. Um, I know sometimes it's just tempting to throw some product underneath your eye and like blend it all out, but it, it can get a little messy that way. Uh, this is Matte Coast Riche. It's my jam. It's kind of hard to find. So if you can find this reddish brown eyeliner, you might want to snatch it up because for some reason it's MIA. I don't know why. So I'm just going to take that, put that on my lower lash line and then on the outer third and then buff that all together with the mulch using the same pencil brush. That brush, by the way, is by Burberry. Okay. I'm going to do that here on the other eye. Dude, please excuse my weird expressions. Now that is the same tiny rando Clarins brush that I used earlier for my highlight application and now I'm using that to apply MAC and Natural Flirt on the inner corners to sort of brighten up the entire look. Again, you don't, you know, this is a limited edition color so you can use anything you like, shroom. Uh, oh, there's my shoot, a little more lash curler. Yeah, having a lot of fun here. That was sarcasm by the way. If you have naturally curly lashes, girl, you better cherish that. Okay, applying some Clarins mascara on my upper lash lines. 
And then doing it over here, trying not to look too goofy. And set it all with Chanel Loose Powder, the big fluffy brush by Sonia Kashuk. On my nose and around my mouth. I'm gonna warm up my skin a little bit with MAC Mineralized Skin, skin Finish and Give Me Sun. Love this. This is another Burberry brush. I love this brush because it kind of has like this paddle shape and it makes it really easy to get underneath my um, cheekbones. So working really quickly. I don't like to do too much of a deep contour. I just kind of like this for all over warmth. Taking it across my forehead right here just to add some more depth to my face because if you just, you know, use foundation and not really like carve out any, I mean, add some warmth, then it can kind of look flat sometimes. Um, this is MAC Auto Erotique Blush on the cheeks. Again, this was limited edition. This is a coral shade. You could use something like Fleur Power or Style. I'm just going to apply that with a blush brush on the apples of my cheeks. I'm smiling my goofy cheese smile because that's so important. I'm going to highlight now with MAC Fairly Precious and then my skin finish. Yes, yes, I know. This was also limited edition, but I did not think that I would sit on this for so long. You could use something like Becca Opal. That would be pretty. Down the bridge of my nose, Cupid's bow, and the tops of my cheekbones. For lips, MAC Close Contact Lipstick and MAC Over Spiced Lip Glass. Again, both of these were limited edition. Um, you can use any creamy, peachy lipstick that you like, and I'm just going to apply it directly from the tube. And then um, for the glass, it's coral, so you know, like a creamy coral would be really pretty on top of this. Let my hair down. Oh, yay. I don't have roots. Yay! Okay, I don't know what's going on here. But there's a closer look at the eye look. And there you have it. That's the finished look. Don't tall, tall, man, I want hands. You guys, thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye. Hello everyone, it's Karen from Makeup and Beauty Blog, and today I have a makeup video for you. Oh yeah, that was dumb.